one, we are talking about adding money and adding with regrouping. So I'd like to make sure that you have your notes, your journal, and we will begin. When we're adding, um, we're going to be talking about adding two-digit numbers today. And um, we'll start off with adding money. Our first step, here we have, I'm going to put $25 plus $15 plus $24. And I've lined this up so that my ones are on top of each other and then my tens are on top of each other. And we're going to be, and I've also drawn this out. So $15 we know as $10, a $10 bill. And then I have one, two, three, four, five, $1 bills. And then here we have $24 and I have two $10 bills and then one, two, three, four $1 bills. So our first thing is we add up the ones and I can look, I know that five plus four is nine, but you could also go this way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine. I also know, I'm also looking, I, two plus one is three. And our answer is 39. Now, what would we do if things got a little more challenging? I would like you to write this in your notes. Regrouping is what you must do if you have a number larger than nine as the sum of any place value. So let's, this is it. I've had an example of regrouping and I've drawn it out with the little dollar bills. Well, there's a lot to draw. The first one, the first thing is we have $14. We have, which we can view as one $10 bill and then one, two, three, four $1 bills. And we're going to add it to $39, which is three tens. And then, bear with me, we have nine ones. Now, right now it says that you, you have to regroup if it's larger than nine. So if I add anything to the nine, I know that automatically I'll have to regroup and put change these dollar bills over into a $10 bill. So let's try this. We have $9 and then we have 1, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So when we add these two together, it's 13, but we can't keep, we can't keep 13, we can't keep 13 in the ones, in the ones column. So what I look at is I look here, here is nine. And I'm going to take this, this batch of dollars and I'm going to convert them into another $10 bill. And we know this, we call this regrouping. So these guys are becoming this $10 bill. And that gives us these three $1 bills that are left over, that are left. So we put the, we put three, and then let's count how many tens we have now. One, two, three, four, five. So we have $53. Now this is using the example of actually counting all of the dollar bills. But sometimes you won't be, you won't have um, pictures to help you. And so what we do is we add the ones and I say, oh, 13. So I put my three here and I regroup and put a one right up here. Three plus one is four plus one is five. And look, $53.
So when you're starting, it's helpful to draw a picture. But as you become more comfortable with this concept of regrouping, I encourage you to, to try doing it where you add the ones. If the number is greater than nine, then put the ones here and take and put your 10 up here. We will do more practicing on this in the practice set. So please join me there. Take care.